everyone welcome back to my channel my name is sunflower sims and if you are new welcome to my channel so for today's video we are building a small modern desert home uh this is a one-story house and it's one bedroom one bathroom uh i wanted it to be a tiny house so at first i was playing around with the tile count and really trying to keep it really small i don't know if it it's not technically a tiny house because of all like the platforms i use on the front and the back of the house but um as far as the actual like house tile count, it might be a tiny house. Uh, I'm not totally sure. I didn't manually count the tiles. Uh, anyway, so you'll see I'm playing around the shape a lot, trying to figure out how I can keep it within 64 tiles and include everything I still wanted this house to have. So that was quite uh, a bit of work. And so you'll see that this house goes through quite a bit of changes. Uh, but in the end, I'm really happy with it, and I really enjoyed building it. Um, I don't really do a ton of modern builds, although there's going to be, like, two modern builds potentially back-to-back. -back. I'm not sure. I've recorded, like, two builds over the past couple days, but they're not going to go up for a few weeks because when I'm doing this voiceover, it is July 25th, and high school years comes out on July 28th, and I think I'm going to get it this week, in which case I'm going to want to do some uh, high school builds themed builds or family with teen theme builds and so these builds are being pre-recorded and I have no idea when they're going to go up. So that is also why the new pack is not being used in this build. It is because I have no idea when this build is going to go up on the channel. Uh, so you can see I'm playing around with the layout quite a bit here. I really wanted to be able to have room for two sims to live in this house so it was really important that I had a double bed that you could access from both sides because I'm not quite sure to be honest if the scooch over trick works in my game, but I know it can be kind of glitchy and like some people have it and some people don't. I don't know. So I was trying to figure out how I could make a bedroom big enough for that. And then eventually I just give up. I think it's around now. I think I might just give up on the tile count and just decide to build. Uh, maybe that's later. I'm not sure. No, it's later. So I was trying to play with the layout for a very, very long time. And we're about to get to the point where I um, start to settle on it a little bit more. I will be expanding this house more uh, in a little bit uh, to make more space. But initially, this is the thought I was going with. This is the shape it kind of ends up staying with. And yeah, so uh, this house, I was really happy with the way it turned out in the end. I think it was really fun and a little bit of a different build for me. I don't normally build in Oasis Springs, like I said. I I know that when you're seeing this that you might be getting back-to-back -back modern builds, but I don't typically do a lot of modern builds, and I play with platforms, which is also something I have not done a whole lot of. So here I am working on trying to create kind of like um, a trellis overhang over the front of the house, and then I was going to do um platforms on the top too but I decide I end up changing that and putting in like a regular roof later um so there you see I expanded the house to accommodate for an actual bedroom uh this still might be considered it's probably considered a small home to be honest I don't know that it's considered a tiny home it's probably a hundred tiles or less though unless you include the platforms also you'll see that I have made some changes to the house <laughs> I um uh, I don't remember if I cut those out on purpose or didn't record those on purpose or if I'm missing footage. Um, but yeah, I did the backyard apparently. I basically just played around with platforms and added a pool and then I changed the roofing. Um, I'm really sorry about that. That's kind of weird. I'm not sure if I forgot to record that, if I didn't record it on purpose, if I'm just missing the footage. I'm not really sure. So here we are playing with the front a little bit and we are changing up window colors and adding um, some different uh, columns. And then we'll be moving on to the inside fairly soon, I think. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, I do end up changing the color of these uh, like trellis pieces because I didn't like the color that they were. Uh, I didn't think it matched the whole house very well. Uh, but yeah, and now I'm adding some plants to the top of the trellis. I wanted to 
make it very leafy and overgrown and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't raise them up but then I realized I needed to turn on move objects so I use a combination of I think they're both jungle adventure um of some of the overgrown leaves and some of the um oh no I think those are base game the yellowish white ones and I do something similar on the back of the house as well. Um, you can see I did just create platforms going down and a small pool. Um, but yeah, that is most of the exterior. And we are doing the very minimal landscaping that there is. Uh, it's really just a tiny little portion. Um, I'm probably not even going to include a chapter on this. I'm just going to include it in the exterior um <laughs> chapter because it was so tiny that's literally like all the landscaping I do that and adding um a few things to like the front porch and then I do add this flooring down um in front of the first platform connected to the sidewalk but I really don't do a lot of landscaping because this uh, lot is so small there's not really room to do much landscaping with this size house um, but yeah, I use these snowy escape windows, by the way, and I thought it created kind of a cool, like, dormer effect, almost, even though it's, no, is that the word I'm looking for? Dormer? Dormer windows? Is that, I think that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, anyway, I thought that it would create a cool effect, and I looked, I just liked it. I thought it looked really nice. Um, so yeah, now we're moving on to the backyard. I don't do too terribly much back here. I add in a table uh, with some seating and I add in a uh, grill and I will be adding a few lounge chairs and that's about it. The pool is kind of the main focus. And I figured they didn't really have much yard space because it's a desert like nobody wants to walk on hot sand every day. Um, so yeah, there's just not really a whole lot back here. But what is back here I think turned out very nice. Uh, I think it's I really like it. I would like to have this backyard. I wouldn't mind. Um, and then here I am playing with the platforms because I realized that that little L shape there where the column is was just not going to be great for like getting to and from um, the platform levels, especially if I, was, if I was placing those lounge chairs. So I just kind of changed it just a little bit to allow for um, some easier movement around the uh the backyard on the different platform levels and then I added a couple things to the pool like the diving board and the pool ladder and I wanted to add like a campfire or something but I thought it was going to be too small of a space too tight um, so I, I ended up just extending the pool a little bit and I think it works out really well I think it's a nice size pool for the house and for the backyard so now we're moving on into the interior and uh i really liked this house on the inside actually uh it's a little bit different um i have i just i'm not used to building tiny houses so when you walk in you're gonna have this dining room or this little dining area and then where the tile is that's the kitchen on the left front that's going to be the living room and then on the right is the bedroom and then the room off to the kitchen is the bathroom so i wanted to go for a little bit more modern um modern uh type uh stuff in here i guess i don't know i just wanted it to feel um kind of neutral as well uh, i didn't want it to feel like really specific for any specific types of sims i just figured that maybe it was one or two sims maybe a couple living here and then here i am trying to configure the living room and i think it turned out uh okay uh i do end up rotating the table or the couches yeah I think it turned out okay I would have liked to have put more in here but it's such a small space like I couldn't put everything that I would normally put in a living room it's a little minimalistic but I think that's okay like I I think I'm being a little harsh on myself when I say it's just okay uh yes <laughs> uh so I tried to put in a coffee table and it wasn't really gonna work so like I said there's not really a whole lot in here but I think it turned out good either way and then uh, we move on into the kitchen. This is probably one of the smallest kitchens I've ever done. I have not built a whole lot of tiny houses. Uh, they're not really my thing. And well, it's not that they're not my thing. It's just I feel so insecure about doing them. Like I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to make this look good. And I just, I love building for family homes because that's like the gameplay I play. Uh, if and when I play game, 
do gameplay outside of the legacy challenge and so I uh, just gravitate towards those builds and they're very much my comfort zone so this was a little bit outside of my comfort zone but I am pleasantly surprised with the way it turned out um I I'm happy with it actually and I I think it's really cute so here we are moving on into the bedroom the bedroom is kind of simple although I do a really cool trick with a mirror which I'll show you in a few moments here uh it was a tiktok hack that was then uploaded in like a um youtube video about hacks so you erase the wall you add in these full length mirrors and then you put the wall back and then you pick a window and then you have a mirror it's not actually functional but i think it looks really really cool i add in just a few more things like a dresser in here and some plants I wanted to use a really big one and I was like that's way too big that's not gonna work anyway um I didn't use that one for my wedding stories uh I was just playing around trying to pick out a plant that was gonna fit nicely in the space and I thought about using these leaf curtains but I didn't end up doing that and then we're gonna move on to the bathroom so uh thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe uh, when I hit 100 subscribers, I'll be giving some sort of a pack away, so make sure you're subscribed. Like and comment suggestions for builds that I should do, because I really want to do more creative stuff, and I'm not really sure where to start. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye! I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hands and let's leave now